We have to be very clear, uh, women are women and men are men, so that's, that's, and men are not women and women are not men. So men are better at some things than women and women are better at some things than men. And this idea that like, oh, I could do everything a man does or a man says I could do everything a woman does, that's a lie. Now that's not to say that certain women might be at the highest levels of excellence, be able to be very competitive, but generally, the general rule is the way that God designed us through for whatever reason of brilliance that we should not even question. Women have certain character traits, such as the ability to have empathy, to nurture, to raise children, to be able to listen attentively, to have a higher level of focus, things that I struggle with. <laughs> Men are more likely to have a singular task, be able to quite honestly, run through a wall to get it done, be able to also have higher levels of testosterone, which is nice when you want to have an entire functioning economy built on hopefully using your hands and have plumbers, electricians, and HVAC, and police officers, and fire, firefighters. Not to say that women can't do those things, but when left to the agency of choice, women more, are more likely to go into elementary school education. They're more likely to become a psychologist. They're more likely to be in something that requires empathy and listening and counseling. And men are more likely to be into something like engineering or business or finance, like getting the deal done. Now, if your nature tells you today that you want to have children and raise a family and go work for some boring, woke, anti-American company kind of doesn't really interest you, having children and having a family and getting married will have a much larger and more positive impact on you and our nation than go becoming a partner at some law firm. That's actually not actually very fulfilling. In fact, don't pursue that if you think that's gonna give you happiness. You will be a miserable, unmarried 33-year-old woman. Let me say that again. You will be a miserable, unmarried 33-year-old woman if you go pursue corporate, like I'm gonna go climb the corporate ladder. Okay, fine. What really matters is, am I able to replicate my values? Can I find someone that I can spend the rest of my life with? Am I going to actually have that kind of sacrificial love that's talked about in the Bible? That kind of love where I can pour into somebody? That's eternal and divine and beautiful. Not saying, you know what? I'm 35 and unmarried, but I'm a partner at Goldman Sachs, but I'm gonna go revolutionize the world. You wanna know why there's so many angry liberal women that live in New York and Los Angeles, it's because they've worshiped the corporate ladder for the last 10 years and they have not actually valued what matters.